Good morning. This is James Hayes bringing you Virus vs. Versus Wednesday, November 4th. I just want to tell you this morning, I want you to get a focus on who you are in Christ as a supernatural spiritual being, a joint heir with Jesus Christ. Listen, we know that we go through all kinds of trials and tests in this world, but God wants us to understand that we're spiritual beings and that he communicates to us so many different ways throughout the Bible showing us the supernatural signs and wonders. We see from the very beginning, just his spoken word, let there be light, a supernatural event of creation just by speaking. We see Daniel in the lion's den protected by the angel of the Lord. We see Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We see all the different signs and wonders when Jesus is speaking and even the winds and the waves obey him. God wants us to know that he has given us power and authority over all the works of the enemy. Sometimes it seems like we're so shaken by the stuff that's happening around us. God wants us to get a focus. This word really blessed me, and so I want to share it with you. John 16, 31 30 through 33, reading from the Amplified Version. It said, Jesus answered them, Do you now at last believe? Do you now at last believe? Take careful notice. An hour is coming and has arrived when you will be scattered, each to his own home, leaving me alone. And yet, I'm not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace. In the world you'll have tribulations, distress, and suffering. But be courageous, be confident, be undaunted, be filled with joy. I have overcome the world. My conquest is accomplished and my victory abiding. What an encouraging word from the Lord to tell you that no matter what's going on around you, especially in this season with this election, with all the confusion that's been on land, when God says, you know, you're going to have tribulations, you're going to have some trials and st stuff that can be distressed, but no, I want you to stop and take courage. Be of good courage, the Lord is saying, and be confident, be undaunted. Don't be shaken and moved about. Stand your ground in faith. Stay in faith and believe on God. He says, I have overcome this world. My conquest is accomplished. My victory is is, is abiding. It's abiding forever. The Lord God is standing with us through all the stuff that we go through. All he wants is his people is to yield and hold on to the fact that he's with us no matter what the trials and tribulations may come. When God tells you to trust in me and not lean to your own understanding, no matter what it looks like, this is when we can go back to Psalm uh, 121 and say, I will lift mine eyes to the hills when it comes my help. My help comes from the Lord. You can rest assured with a confidence that when God tells you, don't be shaken, don't be daunted, don't be uh, distressed out, but be, uh, but be courageous, be of good courage, stand in faith, because I am with you. Listen, you know, when Jesus was announced, the Bible says that the, the angels showed up with the shepherds. God showing that they has messengers with us. They they gave the angels gave a message. Well, God's word speaking, and sometimes we He said we'll entertain angels unaware. So stop walking in fear. No God sending help, aid, and assistance. People around you, others to encourage you. Be strong. Stir yourself up is one of the words I shared the last time. Sometimes you have to stir your own self up, but nonetheless, listen to how God says, "I want you to understand something." These problems, these trials, these tests in the world, I have overcome them for you. So don't be fearful. God wants us to walk in faith. No matter what's going on during this election, we as a people of God should take a stance. Stay strong in the Lord and the power of his might. He has given us his strength. I want to say a quick prayer and, and just be done. It's not a big teaching. It's just a simple thing that God has told us already. I have overcome this stuff for you. Don't be shaken by it. Don't be distressed because all this stuff is out there. Trials, tribulations, distress, and suffering. But he tells you, be courageous. Oh, Father, I just humble myself and lift up my brothers and sisters as we stand in this season. We see the things going on around us. That, Lord God, you are the author and the finisher of our faith. You are the beginning and the end. You are Alpha and Omega. There's nothing before you. There's nothing that surprises you. And yet, God, you've already told us you've overcome this world. 
So, Lord, let us recognize that in you we live and move and have our very being, and that we're overcomers by you, by you, through the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And we testify of your grace, your goodness, your life that you're with us. Lord, we trust in you, and we don't lean to our own understanding, but we walk in the confidence of your power. We walk in the confidence of your blood. We walk in the confidence of your name. We are, Father God, not daunted. We are not fearful. We are not distressed, and we know, Father God, we are uh, taking a stand to be courageous in the Lord, strong in the Lord, in the power of your might. I ask you to bless us as we go forward this day, and help us, Lord, to walk daily by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.